Hi everyone, it's MJ the Fellow Actuary and welcome to this course on R. And maybe let's start off with that question is, well, what is R? And we're going to see that it's a computer language developed in the 90s by Robert and Ross, hence the name R. Now, how is R used? Well, I kind of see R as a fancy calculator with thousands of useful tools, functions, and algorithms. Now, you can create a program with it, but it's mainly used to calculate and analyze data. It also draws some beautiful graphs and is great for data visualization. Now, who can use R? Well, anyone. It's free. Look, it does require logic, maths, and an understanding of statistics to get the most out of it, but this course is for the absolute beginner, so don't worry if you haven't mastered the above yet. Now, where is R used? A lot of research institutions as well as corporates use R, so it will help you land a great job, so add this course to your CV. So speaking about this course, maybe let me introduce myself, um, you know, who is going to be the presenter. Um, my name is Michael Jordan. I'm a fellow of the Actuarial Society of South Africa. I've been programming since 2007. It was my favorite subject back at school. Um, I have created a few social media apps, although they've gotten me in trouble. So I kind of moved more onto the teaching side and I've been teaching online since 2013. And another little fun fact, I have published an article on artificial intelligence in the South African Journal of Science, and you can find it in the May 2016 edition. So that's a little bit about me. When we come to this course, let's go through some of the videos that we will have. I'm going to have the first video is on installing R and getting set up with packages. We're then going to familiarize ourselves with R Studio. We're then going to look at how to do some basic maths calculations. Just get comfortable with R uh, before doing some more useful things like importing and exporting data. Then probably the hardest part of the course will be on data structures where we'll be looking at vectors and data frames. Once we have some nice data frames, we can move on to graphs and data visualization. And then the last chapter, okay, actually the last chapter is going to be the hardest because we're going to look at how to create your own function. And yeah, that's where you maybe need a little bit of, of logic to assist. Um, but why this course? Well, most courses show you R. What I want to do is I want to help you understand R. Also, most courses are long-winded, you know, like 20 hours. I want to get straight to the point and save you time. Also, most courses are subject-specific, where I'll give examples that everyone can appreciate, and most courses assume some sort of prior knowledge. I'm going to be explaining every single step, and this is a great way if you want to kickstart your journey with R. So just a quick little sneak peek of some things, you know, we're going to be looking at code, we're going to be looking at exporting data, and as well as drawing some pretty graphs. So I'm looking forward to this, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.